Hello friends! Today I'm going to show you guys the top 10 things we registered for. I'm pretty hard on it. You know I picked good things. Adam didn't really care that much um, considering it was mostly like kitchen stuff and I do most of the cooking except for breakfast. He cooks breakfast. Everything else I like to cook. Being engaged and married and now we've been married for like a month so we have definitely fully used everything in the kitchen and utilized stuff. I'm going to tell you, show you guys the top 10 things that we registered for. Okay, number one, really, really, really important. This hot water kettle. It heats up your water really fast and really hot. One of the number one things if you do pour over coffee, which is what we do, which is my next item. But finishing this, it's kind of expensive, um, no doubt about it, but it heats your water to boiling hot temperature in like two minutes and it's easy. It works really well. It has a perfect spigot. We use it for tea hot water, everything. So this is a must have. We use it every single day. Love it. Like I said, Chemex, must have. If you're kind of want to do good coffee but don't want to pay for a bunch of fancy equipment like an espresso machine and all those. Chemex is easy to do. You just need a filter. You do the pour over, you put the coffee in there, you pour it all over. Easy pour over coffee. And this works well for Bulletproof because you can put your butter right in the bottom, have it melt and then blend it, and it's easy to do. I do this every morning. Chemex was a must have. We use it every day. And I like to keep mine on the oven because it's cute. Um, I like having it out. The next item is this pot. We actually didn't register for this. This was just a random gift. But we love it. What is it called? It is called Corona. It's Corona with a K. K-R-O-N-A. Um, I'm going to link everything below. We registered a Crate and Barrel in Macy's, but this was not a registry item. Okay, so this is a stainless steel little pot with a lid and a spigot and little numbers that say how full. It's amazing. I use it all the time. Heat up soups, make hot chocolate in, everything. It's just such a good little pot. It's adorable. It's all stainless steel and glass. It has these little filtery things on the lid. A must have. It's really cute. All right, a really big item, glassware. I am somebody, I am like the beverage person of all beverage persons. If it's in liquid form, I love it. All drinks, I'm just crazy about drinks. Making drinks, consuming drinks, drinks. So glassware was really important and the two, number two, top two ones we recommend were Crate and Barrel, these. They are called the white wine glasses, I believe. Um, you can buy them in a 12 pack and get like a better deal on them. Uh, but we use them just for water, for everything. They're like our everyday water drinking glasses. Huge, love them, cheap. They're so cheap too and they look so good. Another favorite, every single guest we have over is obsessed with these. Every single time someone comes over, we're like, okay, you gotta drink out of these cool glasses. They're called beer can glasses. Um, both of these are from Crate and Barrel. And they're, actually you can put beer in them, they're freezer safe, refrigerator safe, whatever, everything's safe. But they're also just really comfortable to drink out of because they have the lip in the rim, so it, it just makes it so comfortable. They're like the exact size of a beer can. Glassware, so important, you gotta have things to drink out of, and we just love that everything is matching and easy and like, it looks good, it's practical. We love our glassware that we chose. If you're like us and you literally have nothing, we're both really young and I had never moved out. He had moved out just for like college and stuff, but we didn't have anything. So we needed full on plate settings. So the ones we chose were from Crate and Barrel. Every time we use them, we're like, yes, this is the best. You can buy everything individual or you can buy the whole set. And basically in the set, you get the dinner plate, the salad plate, the bowl, and the mug, okay? You can buy everything separate, but if you buy the set, you basically get the mug for free. We got 10 of uh, 10 sets, and obviously we don't need 10 mugs, so I only keep four or five mugs out, and then the other ones I have in storage, they're bound to break or something, but you might as well buy the set because you get the mug for free. But with that, we don't, well, like we absolutely love the mugs, but we went away, we're going to be using 10 mugs at one time. 10 glassware probably, but who's going to be drinking like hot drinks? Maybe, I don't know. I'm rambling. Not the point. Basically, we love the plate where we got. We love the mugs. We use them all the time. They're perfect. Bowls are awesome because they're actually quite deceiving. They look kind of small, but they're super, super deep. We also really like them because you can hold them in one hand. It's not like they're short and wide. They're, they're deep and kind of skinny and tall. It's clean. It's easy. We love it. 
Funny story behind the panini press. A couple years ago, my dad went to a Goodwill and randomly bought this $1 panini press. And since buying that, it is, when I lived at home, it was the number one kitchen tool we used in the house. I am obsessed with really fun grilled cheeses. I use that panini press like nonstop. So I knew one of the things on our registry that we had to have was a panini press. Yes, this is a must have because I'm obsessed with grilled cheese and this is a fancy one and you can do a lot of fancy things on it. Basically, you put it in there and you press it. And this one is nice because it has a temperature. We use it every single day. Actually, and this isn't that expensive. I think it was under a hundred bucks. Panini press, must have. Oh, since I'm right here, another thing was this spatula. Oh my gosh, well, I'll mention this one too. I think I'm over 10 if I mention this one too, but I love it so much. Okay, so this little guy, both from Crate and Barrel, pretty much everything is from Crate and Barrel. This is a li little liquid measuring cup thingy majingy so it says one tablespoon two tablespoon blah blah, blah. Um, ounces milliliters it's super awesome this little sucker oh my gosh it's basically a small spatula that's all rubber and it's the fact that it's all rubber that I love it so much I use it for all my baking I use it for jams um, jars to get everything out this is like one of my most used baking tools if you don't have a dishwasher, this is necessary. You have to have something to dry your dishes on. And this is our really, really, really cute dish drying rack. It's yellow, it's large, it works awesome. It's as simple as that. It works amazing and it's really cute looking. So, must have. Crate and Barrel again, these little spice jars. They were $1 each. Um, I got 10 of them and my grandma who gifted them to me went a step farther and bought spices to put in them. Shout out to our custom Coca-Cola bottles that we had at our wedding. So you have to have knives, obviously, and we just decided to go with this simple set from, um, this was purchased from Macy's, but it is the Martha Stewart collection. They're cute looking. <laughs> Again, clearly I like cute looking things. And, I mean, you know, how many do you really need? These four were great for us, and we like them a lot. My last item is this baker set from Craig Barrel. It's just really cute and practical because there's small size and there's big size and I like them a lot. So I get this little yellow one, perfect for like a little mac and cheese side. Oh, you get this blue one, which is a good medium size for if you're only cooking for two or three people and you don't want to do a lot. What did I do in this? We often make spaghetti and then have a ton of leftovers, so the following day with the leftovers, I'll make big spaghetti and I pretty much always make it in this. It's a perfect size. And you get a really big red one. We just got our wedding photos today in the mail. They're so cute. I'm kind of freaking out. I'm going to be posting a good amount on my Facebook page and Instagram. So both of those are linked below if you want to go check out the photos. Those are pretty darn cute. If there's anything specific you guys want me to do, I'm thinking about doing a Q&A. Hello. I'm thinking about doing a Q&A. Maybe answer some questions, uh, you know, wedding related or whatever, anything related. So if you have any questions, leave them below and I will, uh, I'll do a video. Happy Valentine's Day. I bought these candies just because they look cute, but then I actually ended up eating them. So, happy Valentine's Day.